Hi everyone, my name is Max Fraser. Today I'm going to be walking you through my fantasy book talk niche that I've mapped for my BCM 241 subject. Um, the main areas I'm going to dive into are the content. So this is content found on fantasy book talk. Um, the main ones are book recommendations and they can be based on spice level, character type, vibe, aesthetic and trope. Then we've got bookshelf setups, fan art, teaser snippets, book rebinding, casting and reviews. Um, this content is also influenced heavily by fantasy type. So this is broken down into like dragons, supernatural superpowers, wizard and witches, fae or fairies, which is common in the Akatar series, um, werewolf and vampires and magic as well. Um, I broke down the personas kind of found on Fantasy Book Talk to quite a few actually. So Romanacy Fiend, there's a big part of the Fantasy Book Talk community who kind of read Romanticy, which is obviously romance and fantasy. Then we've got the Dragon Lovers, um, World Building Haters, so people who basically don't like the fantasy aspect where they have to kind of set up a world and set up laws and politics within the books. Um, Akatar Addicts, so this is the Accord of Thorn and Roses series, which is very popular in fantasy book talk. Um, and Sarah J. Maz Loyalist um, ties into that because she is the author of Akatar. Kindle baddies are the ones who read solely on Kindle. And then the collectors are people who... Um, readers who just buy and collect books, they would also probably be the kind of main contributors to the bookshelf setup um, in the content. Then we look into some of the main creators and authors. These are the key stakeholders of Fantasy Book Talk, so I thought it was important to kind of include them. Um, Sarah J. Maz and Rebecca Yaros are kind of two key authors on Fantasy Book Talk. Technically not explicit like explicitly linked but um because Sarah J Mars doesn't actually have a TikTok but Rebecca Yaros does but they both have very heavily heavily influenced um fantasy book talk